And just so that the next episode has begun, welcome back to Ace Attorney Justice Brawl. I'm your host, Megan Shadow, this is a good video game, like a commentary. And when we last left off, we had Miss Andrews make another testimony. I bet you weren't expecting that, were you? Of course you were. First of all, if you saw the previous episode, you would know that she's going to have another testimony. And two, well, I mean, she's been, all we've been, uh, prosecuting against, or defending against for the past, you know, hour and a half of gameplay. Anyway. That glass of juice. I didn't really pour it for myself. But, there wasn't anyone else in the room, right? Of course not. Then, who did you pour it for? Mr. Wright, there is a rhyme and reason for everything. Can you wait just a little longer for it to be revealed to you? In other words, Wright, be quiet and listen. Precisely, I couldn't have said it better myself. I was surprised when I walked into the room and saw it in that messy state. So, it was a mess. Are you sure it wasn't messy because you fight? Because you're because of your fight with Mr. Corrida? I don't think she fought him. I like I said, I'm just saying, I don't think she's a killer. I probably sound like a broken record, I'm sorry, but it's true. I understand your frustrations at not being able to prove your theory, however, before you go accusing people of crimes, go find yourself some evidence. And then, what did you see next, witness? And Juan, he was sitting slumped over and tired looking in the corner. Slumped over? Yes, he was just sitting there with his head tilted forward, eyes closed. One second, let me check let me check the court record. He said she said in a corner, right? Um, let me look at the uh, photo of the crime scene. Let me check. Does she mean, like, but he's sitting on a chair. I mean, what did, I mean, maybe I'm just, I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm taking her use of the word corner too literally. Yes, he was just sitting there with his head tilted forward, eyes closed. He really looked like he was sleeping. Is it just me or did that right there sound a little odd? She, he had a knife stabbed inside of him! How does that make, okay, hold on. I, I just caught him there. When I saw him sitting like that, the thought, the thought that he was dead didn't cross my mind. He had a knife stabbed right inside of him. I don't understand how he thought, oh, you know, he's taking a nap. Press. Then what did cross your mind? I thought maybe he had smashed everything up in anger because he lost the Grand Prix and then felt tired after his rampage, so he decided to take a nap. Anyways, that's what I thought. I see! So you didn't think he was dead at all? To be honest, I thought he had just fainted or something, so I went to pour him some juice. You you thought he fainted? I thought he was asleep at first. But then, the room was in such a messy state, I thought maybe I'd gotten into a fight with someone. Uh, and that's when you were went to pour the glass of juice. Yes, he always has a hard time waking up. So Juan always had a glass of tomato juice to drink. Hmm, I see. After after that, what happened next? When I realized that he was dead, that's when I knocked the flower vase over. And how did you come to realize that he was, in fact, dead? I shook him over and over, but I never got a response. <gasps> what about the knife? <laughs> Didn't you... Okay. So I, so I set the glass down in the dresser and tried to take his pulse. I... I was shocked, and straight and staggered backward. And knocked the flower vase over, so that's what happened. Yes. This is what it all comes down to. Huh? This is the absolute end for both sides, and Adrian is letting her guard down. Phoenix, now is her best chance yet to kill the prosecution's case. Isn't that a bit harsh? Miss Andrews, will you tell us the truth this time? Okay, let's go ahead and save. I don't think we- I don't think that we got any- any extra things added to the thingy, but... Yeah, okay, so, she didn't realize that he was dead yet, she had a freaking knife stabbed in him! Sure, the knife is not what killed him, but you- she couldn't know- she probably didn't know that. As a surprise, I walked into the room and saw it in that messy state. And Juan, he was sitting slumped over and tired looking in the corner. So should it be for this one, or when I saw him sitting like that, the thought that he was dead didn't cross my mind. I STILL BELIEVE THAT'S A LOAD OF BALONEY! 
Look at this crime photo! Look at this crime photo! There is a very clear stat mark right there! This might not be the right evidence, to, and this might not be the right point, but we're pressing it here. So you honestly didn't think he was dead when you found him? No, not at all. Even though this is what you saw when you discovered the body... Ah! What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? There is a knife sticking straight out of Mr. Cordida's chest! Anyone who saw this scene would have immediately thought that he, there, here was a dead man. Um, that's... well, you see... I doubt a single person in the world would mistake this for someone who fainted. And then so nonchalantly got go and then so nonchalantly go pour them something to drink. That's that's not proper English. Maybe it is. I don't know. Y your point is, Miss Andrews, your testimony just now. It was all one giant lie. <clears throat> and your lie has proven one thing very clearly: that you are the real killer. No! I totally don't think she's the killer. It looks like the defense has somehow brought the ugly truth to light. The defendant, Mr. Matt Ongard, is not guilty after all. That? But that's impossible! You're wrong! I st I- I mean, I might- I'm st First of all, it's too early in the- it's too early in the court case to convict- to convict the real killer, because this is just Act 2 too, right? And on top of that, she said that she would not kill when we broke her psych locks. When you break someone's psych locks, they are guaranteed to tell the truth. I mean, there is an exploit that someone told me about in the comment section, where like if like someone had amnesia or maybe they had multiple personalities, they, the psych locks wouldn't appear, because to the best of their knowledge, they weren't hiding e anything, even though they really were. But, if you break their psych locks, they are guaranteed to tell the truth. And in her confession, she said, I would not kill Matt Juan, Juan Corrida. That is just not who I am. So I am going to hold her, I am going to believe that she is not the real killer. Everything is up to make her to be the red herring, but I still don't believe that she's the actual killer. I, I, that's just my, that's just my whole thing. Anyway, that, but that's impossible! You're wrong! Miss Andrews, try to have some composure! It, it wasn't me! <laughs> it wasn't me, I tell you! It was Matt, I swear it! He's the one who killed Juan! But you were the one who refused to testify, and your reason for not doing so was that you might end up incriminating yourself. Th th that's because... Miss Andrews, I will give you one last chance. What exactly are you hiding that may incriminate you? I... It's probably her suicide, isn't it? I... I refuse to testify. Then there is no need for this court to continue any further. Mr. Manigar's innocence has been clearly demonstrated. Is... is it... over? Not quite, someone's gonna raise an objection. Have we... have we found the truth at last? What's wrong, Phoenix? Usually... well, usually the real killer confesses his or her guilt. And now that I think about it, this is the first time someone hasn't. Now then, I would like to hand down my verdict for Mr. Matt on guard. I knew it, someone I knew it. Your Honor, the prosecution feels that it would be premature to pass down a verdict at this time. What? The reason is quite simple. This witness has yet to speak the absolute real truth. The absolute real truth? What are you... Witness, don't you, un don't you understand yet? Huh? I don't know who planted this silly idea in your head, but as long as you protect yourself through your silence, Man and Guy will go free, and in this place, you will become the guilty party. Th that's... That's a lie! I... I don't believe you! What? I... I was told if I spoke... If I spoke, then it would be all over, and Matt would never be declared guilty. What in the world is she trying? Is she talking about? Has she lost it? I, I can't speak about it. I'm too scared. It's Francisca's. It's, it's Francisca von Karma. Huh? 
Don't you remember, Phoenix? Miss Andrews lives by grip lives by gripping tightly onto the words of another, because she doesn't have the strength to believe in herself. Th then right now, Miss Andrews is. Yesterday, she was tossed. Yesterday, she was tossed a life a lifesaver by Miss Von Karma. Don't say a don't say a word. No matter what happens, if you do, Managar will be acquitted. Miss Andrews un undyingly believes in those words right now, and is clinging on to them. Then, then what should we do? This... this is the first time I've ever come across anything like this! But Miss Andrews has yet to be the killer, right? Has... has to be the killer, right? All we have to do now is get our not guilty. That is my only priority. It wasn't me! I'm begging you! Please believe me! I... I didn't kill Juan! Help! Please, someone, help me! Mr. Wright! Y yes, Your Honor. The court can't continue on like this, therefore I'd like to hear what you intend to do. <laughs> we're gonna save, of course. That's what we're gonna do. I bet you thought otherwise, didn't you? No, I say that, I want to say that every time, like, I bet you thought otherwise, didn't you, ladies and gentlemen? No. <laughs> the court can't continue like this, therefore I'd like to hear what you intend to do. What I intend to do? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to say? Right. I suggest you think very carefully about this. Think about what this witness did and what she did not do. And think about who was the real mastermind behind this crime. Who's the real mastermind? Isn't that obvious? The killer! As in D-E-K-I-L- D-E space K-I-L-L-E-R, Mr. Sir English Gentleman. There is no one else it, it could be except the woman crying over there, right? Come now, what will you do? What kind of man are you, Mr. Phoenix, right? We're gonna force her to testify. I, I don't believe that she's a witch, whatchamacallit. I have to win a complete acquittal today. There's no way around that, but... I can't bring myself to do it like this, not when she's making a face like that. Miss Andrews, I would like to know what you are really hiding. M Mr. Wright, are you sure you know what you're doing? Sure, Mr. On Guard would get an acquittal, but in this place, you would be found guilty. Is this is this how you really want this trial to end? B -b be be quiet! How dare you! You you're trying to trick me. That's enough. I commend you for trying, Mr. Edgeworth. However, it's clear that the defense's theory is the truth. <laughs> you're wrong. Such a shame. I had hoped things wouldn't come to this. However... What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? Miss Andrews, since you absolutely refuse to testify, it falls it falls on my shoulders to disclose this to the court. S stop M Mr. Edgeworth! This witness, how should I put this? She has an illness. What?! And because of this illness, she has tried to commit suicide in the past. Stop! Please stop! No matter how much you want to hide it, it's no use. Take this! I have the evidence right here. Literally, take this. Ah! That's... That's the second part of the suicide report. The attempted suicide report. What will you do now, witness? You know what I am about to do, don't you? I will now reveal to the court the true nature of the pitiful woman known as Adrian Andrews. The secret of her codependent nature. Having other people know about it scares her more than anything else in the world. Please! Please! Stop! I beg you! If people find out... If people find out... I... I'll... If you're going to say you would choose death, that is of no concern to me. Edgeworth, how can you be so cold? However, before you die, I will pull the truth from your breathing lips. No matter what I have to do, I will do anything to get to to get a guilt to get a criminal thrown in jail. Anything. So, will you tell the court yourself, or shall I? Either is fine with me. I. I'll talk, but please help me. 
<laughs> Nothing matters anymore. My crime, witness testimony. My crime. When I first saw him, I really thought that he had fainted. Honest. When I realized he was dead, that was when I formulated my plan. Once I made sure there was no one in the hallway, I made a dash back to Matt's room. And then, I stabbed Juan's dead body in the knife and ripped off the button. Just when I finished and was returning to Matt's room, I had a bit of an inconvenience. And that's why, that's why I ended up using the Nickel Samurai costume. But she has to be lying about something, otherwise we wouldn't, otherwise this, uh, okay. S -s -s Stab the body with the knife, but why would you do that? Isn't it obvious to pin the blame on a certain person? A certain cowardly man. Ooh. Ooh, what do you mean by all of this? It might take this court a little while to understand, but... This is the truth. The real killer is Matt, that scumbag of a man, I'll never forgive him! He's trying to escape his guilt again, just like last time! Last? Holy crap! Is Matt really the killer? Holy crap! I mean, but no! But what about the kill- What role does the killer have in all of this? I still want to know! I still don't believe- <sighs> Okay, whatever. So, Mr. Andrews, so, Miss Andrews stabbed this victim, Juan Cortita, in the chest with a knife. However, she didn't do it with murder in mind. She did it with the intent of framing that on guard for the murder, which is, of course, still a crime. And this, this is her crime. What? How is this possible? I mean, wasn't Miss Andrews supposed to be the real murderer? Mr. Wright, please get over your shock and commence the cross-examination. Alrighty then, my crime. This really is starting to get really interesting. I think I can I can really agree. Like some some I have heard from a few people that this is considered to be one of the best cases in uh, the series, and I can I can really understand that this is really starting to get really interesting. I think when I first saw him, I really thought he had fainted. Honest. Press. I think she's telling the truth there. But you could tell from the state of the room, the, the state the room was in, that there must have been a fight. Are you telling the truth when you say that you did not know he was dead? He, he had a scarf tied around his neck. But that scarf is a part of the Jam and just costume, so... So I didn't think anything about, about it was strange. His head was also tilted down a bit, so I couldn't see his face that well. That's why I thought I'd wake him up, and went to pour the juice. When I realized he was dead, that was when I formulated my plan. What is this plan you had? Did I save yet? I should probably save. I knew right away the murderer was Matt. I knew because one, he was going to expose Matt's weakest point to the world. So Matt did this to stop one, and silence him for good, but that would imply that he knew about the, um about the press conference, which he didn't. Unless he has amnesia. That's when I thought, I should forge some evidence and pin this crime on Matt. So the forged piece of evidence were the knife and the button. The first thing that came to mind was, the, was to plant the knife. Once I made sure there was no one in the hallway, I made a dash back to Matt's room. Okay, hold on. When I realized he was dead, that was when I formulated my plan. When I first saw him, I really thought that he had fainted on us. Let's go ahead and save. I'm not sure if we saved yet, but you know, I want to save on the very first thing. Just because. Like, I don't know, it just bothers me if like I load a save and I'm right in like the middle. Anyway. Really fainted. When I realized he was dead, that was when I formulated my plan. Once I made sure there was no one in the hallway, I made a dash back to the Matt's room. To Matt's room. But we're not going to press that just yet, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm. <laughs> Don't you believe them? 